Despite the advice of his parents, who hoped their son would take up legal studies, in 1916, Paul Delvo enrolled at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in the Architecture Department. He failed his first year exams, but in the second year attended the monumental painting workshop taught by Constant Montal. This workshop, which Magritte also attended, is still running. Nothing has changed, except the type of painting practiced there. We had a tutor, Montal, who was a charming man from Gant, a pupil of Puvis de Chavannes, I think. He came to visit the workshop every other day, and we did life drawings of nudes, because you had to do nudes to do compositions. So I did nudes in the morning, and in the afternoon I went to Rouge Cloître to do the landscapes. That way I had a sort of complete education. At the beginning of the 40s, no doubt it was something to do with the war, skeletons began to appear in Paul Delvaux's world. But as with the trains and the trams, ancient cities and scholars, the theme of the skeleton also goes back to a childhood memory. When I was at primary school at the age of seven, there was a museum where there was a skeleton. We had our music lessons in the museum. And you had to go into this museum, and I was afraid of the skeleton in the cage. It was black and red with an unpleasant grin, and it had a tremendous effect on me. I would say to my mother when I got home, you know, I saw a skeleton. <laughs> and that skeleton, which I was so terrified of as a child, I suddenly grasped the beauty of it, grasped the expression, a little later.